Hi, this is Pepe with Precision Athletics Vancouver, and I would like to share with you the answer to one of the questions I get asked quite frequently uh, from new clients or prospective clients. And uh, that question is, how much exercise do I actually have to do to get results? And um, the objection is, I don't have time to exercise. Well, what I can tell you uh, with that is, uh, Time is, you really do not need to commit a lot of time. It, time is, uh, if you're gonna spend a lot of time in the gym, you're not gonna be able to exercise overly uh, efficiently. So what we do is, the style of training that I promote and many others do is uh, metabolic conditioning. So there's short, intense workouts where you involve a lot of different muscle groups uh, all at once. So instead of breaking your body into parts, sitting down on a bench and doing a bicep curl, for example, I mean, that doesn't burn a lot of calories, muscle activation is minimal. Maybe you're doing like a uh, walking lunge with an overhead press. So you're involving as many muscles on as many joints as you can, thus burning as many calories as, as you possibly can in as short as time possible. So when you increase the intensity of the exercise, the time, the duration that you're able to perform it decreases substantially. So a lot of our clients do our workouts from 20 to 40 minutes, uh, three to five times a week. Uh, depending on people's schedule. And the other thing is you don't need a lot of equipment. You don't need machines. There's a, a ton of body weight exercise you can do or with minimal equipment in your home. So um, now there are specific cases where people are absolutely have almost no time if you've got four or five kids and you know, but for the majority of us, uh, you can squeeze in 15 to 20 minutes at your home, um, in the gym. We just keep it short and sweet. And uh, the key to metabolic, uh, the key to actually getting results is having your body work metabolically when you're not exercising. Meaning you do that quick intense workout in the gym and then 24 to 36 hours uh, your body's recovering and your post oxygen energy consumption is high, therefore your metabolism is elevated. Um, for a longer period of time, burning more calories. So you're sitting on the couch watching your favorite TV show after your workout, you're burning calories. So uh, that's my answer to that question and thank you for listening. Oh,